police officer accused of being drunk on the job. Questions over the death of a young man. And now, a new chief steps in to lead the Aurora Police Department during this controversial time. The city announced the new interim chief this morning. Liz Gillardi joins us live. And Liz, what is her plan when it comes to repairing public trust? Well, today she's asking for the public support. Chief Vanessa Wilson is the first woman to ever lead the department. And again, she's already reaching out to the community and she's planning to make some changes. He's, uh, he's a little intoxicated. Body camera video that launched an investigation. Officer Nathan Mayer passed out in his patrol car, accused of being drunk on duty, but he kept his job and wasn't charged. Obviously, the trust in the community uh, has been has been very significantly shaken. Interim Chief Vanessa Wilson acknowledged that incident and the death of Elijah McLean as she gets ready to step into her new role. I promise you today that we will work tirelessly to regain that trust because I will state no one is above the law. Chief Nick Matz announced his retirement in September, saying he would leave the department at the end of the year after more than four years as chief. Then Deputy Chief Paul O'Keefe, who was the first to respond to the incident involving Officer Mayer, also announced he was retiring. Well, I think the fact that Deputy Chief O'Keefe announced his retirement and withdrawal from the interim chief, that threw a, a loop, I guess you might say, but I think we've recovered very well and I have a lot of faith in uh, Chief Wilson. But an internal affairs report found that O'Keefe first called for a different officer to go investigate Mayor for potential DUI. Then nixed that plan because his physical demeanor was not what he thought to be consistent with alcohol intoxication. District Attorney George Brockler will have the final say. He was at the press conference where Wilson addressed the community. He says the case is more complicated than it appears. Hey man, confession, blood alcohol level, slam dunk. I don't get either of those two pieces of evidence right now. Until I can figure that piece out, we've got to figure out how to prove this without it or not prove it. In the meantime, Interim Chief Wilson says she wants to create a standard of accountability. The community needs me and we need to heal from this and we need the community's help in doing that. And Chief Wilson says a retention system is already on order for body cameras. If you'll remember in the Elijah McClain case, some of those cameras fell off officers. This will basically ensure that those cameras stay put. She says it's expected to arrive within the next week or two. There is still an ongoing search, though, for a full time for a new chief um, that could take anywhere from six to eight months. But uh, interim chief Wilson says she is interested in applying. Reporting live with Gilardi, Denver 7.